Hi everybody! Today we will be discussing how to solve multi-step equations and literal equations. What is the goal for solving equations? You must use inverse operations to isolate the variable. The word isolate means to get the variable by itself. Example 1. The value of y in the equation 0.0xy plus 200 is equal to 0.03y plus 350. The goal is to solve for y. So the first step we're going to do here is subtract 200 from both sides. The 200 will cancel out on the left and then give us 150 on the right. So we are now left with 0.06y is equal to 0.03y plus 150. Next, we still want the y's all on the same side, so we will subtract 0.03y from both sides. Again, we subtract from both sides so that the equation is balanced. Whatever you do to one side, you have to do to the other. In this case, the 0.03y will cancel, and we are now left with 0.03y is equal to 150. The last step is to divide both sides by 0.03. Due to the fact that 0.03 is a coefficient, and a coefficient when attached to a variable is always being multiplied. So you want to do the inverse operation, which in this case is division, and that will give us y is equal to 5,000. Now let's move on to example two. Here we are going to solve for the given variable. We have the equation two times four x minus 15 minus four is equal to eight, plus 2x. The first thing we're going to do here is to distribute due to the fact that there are parentheses. So we first want to get rid of all parentheses. 2 times 4x will give us 8x and 2 times negative 15 will give us negative 30. Next you want to combine like terms. In this case negative 30 and negative 4 are like terms because they are both numbers. These combine to give us negative 34 so we have 8x minus 34 is equal to 8 plus 2x. And please keep in mind how I'm lining up my equal sign. You should always line up your equal sign so you don't get confused with what's on the left side of your equation and what's on the right side. Next, we're going to add 34 to both sides. So it will cancel on the left. And now this will be 8x is equal to 42 plus 2x. We still need that 2x on the other side of the equation. So now we do the inverse operation of addition, which is subtraction. And we are going to subtract 2x from both sides to now give us 6x is equal to 42. The last step here will be to divide by 6, and we will get x is equal to 7. Next, we are going to divide both sides by 6, and that will give us x is equal to 7. Let's move on to literal equations. Literal equations are equations where variables represent known values. They allow us to represent the following as variables in an equation. Distance, time, interest, and slope. Let's move on to example three. Solve the Fahrenheit formula for Celsius C. So here's the formula to represent Fahrenheit F. F is equal to 3 fifths times C plus 32. And the goal here is to solve for C. So the first thing you want to do is subtract 32 from both sides because you want to get C by itself. So the 32's will cancel and you are left with F minus 32 is equal to 3 fifths C. In this case, you cannot combine F and 32 because they are not like terms. Next, in order to get C by itself, you want to divide both sides by 3 fifths. However, Instead of dividing both sides by 3 fifths, we are going to instead multiply by the reciprocal. A reciprocal or multiplicative inverse is simply your fraction flipped. So 3 fifths reciprocal is 5 thirds. And here we are left with 5 thirds times the quantity of F minus 32 is equal to C. Another way you can see it is 5 times your quantity f minus 32 all divided by 3. In this case, can also, this can also be written like this because f minus 32 can be written over 1. 
So when you multiply both of them together, you will simply get your 5 on top and the 3 on the bottom. So once we multiply both sides by 5 thirds, we will get 5 thirds times the entire left side, which is F minus 32. Another way you can write it is having F minus 32 in your numerator attached to your 5. So 5 times F minus 32, all divided by 3, is equal to C. Let's move on to example 4. If 3AX plus B is equal to C, then A equals. So here we are looking for A. You first want to get rid of your B, or your plus B, because it is not attached to an A. So we are going to subtract B from both sides in order to get 3ax is equal to c minus b. Then you are going to divide both sides by 3x because you want the a by itself. On the left, you will be left with a is equal to, and on the right, c minus b all divided by 3x. You do not have to split it up. You can just write the entire right side all divided by 3x. Example 5. If k is equal to am plus 3mx, the value of m in terms of a, k, and x can be expressed as. So here we look at our equation, and the first thing you want to ask yourself, is it in standard form? In this case, it is. Next, you want to ask yourself, can I take out a GCF? And you can. On the right side, you can take out a GCF of m. So you will be left with k is equal to m times a plus 3x because am divided by m gives you that a and positive 3mx divided by m will give you the positive 3x. Now, since your GCF is being multiplied by the entire quantity, the next step would be to divide both sides by what's inside of your parentheses, which in this case is a plus 3x. On the right side, those two expressions will cancel so now your final expression, so now your final equation would be k divided by a plus 3x is equal to m. And that is your final answer. Example 6. Let's solve for x. Here you have two equations that are written as fractions. Example 6. Now let's solve for x. Here you have two expressions that are written as fractions and set equal to each other. The minute you see anything written like this, or any the minute you see any equation written like this, the first thing you want to say to yourself is to cross multiply. So first we're going to multiply 4 times x plus a to get 4x plus 4a. Then you are going to multiply 2 times 2 parentheses 2x plus 6 and simply you can start off with 2 times 2 which is 4 and then keep the parentheses 2x plus 6. Now to move on to the next step you still want to get rid of those parentheses so you're going to distribute the 4 to both terms on the inside. So 4 times 2x will give you 8x and then 4 times positive 6 will give you 24. So our new equation is 4x plus 4a is equal to 8x plus 24. Keep in mind we are solving for x, so we want all of our x's on the same side. So first we're going to get rid of our 24 by doing the inverse operation, which is minus 24, so these will cancel. And then we are going to subtract our 4x from both sides to bring it to the other side. So we will get 4a minus 24 is equal to 4x. Now, you can do it in both steps as I've shown it, or you can start any way that you want to. It is entirely up to you. Remember, you can solve equations more than one way, and this is not the only way to do it. The last step here in order to get x by itself, or to isolate the variable x, is to divide everything by 4. So in this case, you are left with a minus 6 is equal to x. 4a divided by 4 will give you a. Negative 24 divided by 4 will give you the negative 6. If the 4a and the 24 were not 
divisible by 4 evenly, then you could have simply left it as 4a minus 24 all over 4. But in this case, you could divide it out. So again, we are left with a minus 6 is equal.